Well, the First Minister says it's outrageous that he knew nothing about the on-the-run letters and is demanding they're withdrawn. Mr Robinson has been speaking to our political correspondent Tracy McGee and she asked him if he would have gone into government with Sinn Féin had he known about the letters. We would not have uh, allowed this to be part of any government. We objected to the Belfast Agreement because it included the uh, get-out-of-jail for terrorists after two years. If we were objecting to them getting out of jail after two years, we would most certainly have objected to them getting out of uh, jail without having served one moment uh, in jail for the, the sentences uh, or for the, the crimes that they had uh, committed. We were not made aware by the government of the ongoing process, nor indeed, as I have spoken to the Justice Minister today, nor was he aware, even though he is Minister of Policing and Justice in Northern Ireland, he was not told of the ongoing events. Because as you are, are aware, dozens of cases are still going on. And they, they, the government never thought to uh, inform us as me as First Minister of this administration or the Justice Minister of what was going on. I find that outrageous. What implications does it have for devolution? I'm not prepared to remain as First Minister of an administration that is kept in the, the dark, who are being deceived by, by government. And I'm talking about both past and present. We were not informed of any of these uh, issues. We should have been, because some of them had process beyond the period when devolution began. Are you saying that you're prepared to collapse the institutions over this? I've said that I am not prepared to be the First Minister of an administration that is lied to, deceived by the government and kept in the dark. What do you want the government to do about it? Well, first of all, I think the letters have to be rescinded. I think there has to be a full public inquiry. This is a major issue. It can't be swept under the carpet. The government needn't think that if they uh, mark time for a few weeks or months that the issue will go away. This is a serious issue that we have to get to the, the bottom of. Uh, and of course, from the point of view of the victims, and this is where we should really be thinking about, there are people out there who will be asking, who are the 187? Indeed, are there more than 187 people who have received these letters and have them stuffed into their, their pocket? What crimes were they believed to have been uh, responsible for? And meanwhile, we're sitting down in government trying to get a resolution to issues relating to the past. We're sitting down trying to see how people can get some form of justice in the future. While we know now that there are people who have letters which effectively say, you're never going to get justice for any crime that we have committed. That is absolutely contemptible. If you don't get the answers that you require from the Prime Minister, could we be on the brink of a crisis? We're not on the brink of a crisis, we are in a crisis. This is a crisis. How could you have anything more than the setting aside of the proper judicial uh, uh, processes where justice is not going to be done for at least 187 people? That is a crisis. It's a crisis of confidence that the people of Northern Ireland will have on the policing and judicial processes in Northern Ireland. And they are right to be angry. Are you going to be seeking a meeting with Prime Minister about this? I'm meeting the Secretary of State later to, today and the Prime Minister is already aware of my views.